Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 1st of February. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. This week we have Evolution Mining, Fortescue, Kena Securities, Lycopodium and IPD Group. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you're getting our free newsletters, but our best stock tips come out every Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report. So make sure you are subscribing to that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, we'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is on the management side. So if you'd like to ask me about our portfolio management service, then please give me a call. And all the advice here is general only. So we've got the daily chart here of Evolution. Um, after this sort of nice run up here, it's essentially been trading sideways since around May. So just a very large sideways range. Um, looked like it was breaking out in early December, um, but obviously that, that failed and it's come back to the bottom of the range. Does look like it's building up quite nicely here in terms of the way it's trading on that support level. So it does look like it'll head back up shortly. Um, clearly you'd be aiming for the top of the range again um, and then ultimately the next buy signal would be a, an upside break. Fortescue, well if we start off with the weekly chart, I mean this is one that I've sort of covered numerous times last year in the Dynamic Investor. We were looking at the, um, you know, the trading range here where there was very clear resistance at $23 and um, our view was that if it you know, when it eventually pops through that, it's not going to stop at the old high, it'll just you know, head straight on to new highs, which is what it's done, but it is looking quite quite overbought. We could see that on the weekly chart um, and even on the daily chart. So look, quite a strong trend. Doesn't mean that the trend is going to, to end here because it's overbought. It just means you'd get some pullbacks along the way. So, you know, the long-term trend looks good and I just think that yeah, any sort of dips, you'd just be buying the dips like, like what we've seen here. Okay, Kena Securities, so not a lot of volume. I mean, you know, maybe about half a million dollars got traded yesterday. So, you know, that can be a bit, bit risky. Um, we could see things a bit more clearly on the weekly chart. So we've had this sort of big slide here. It does look like it was leveling out and if we have a look at you know this sort of approximate downtrend line it does look like it's now broken above that um, and obviously on good volumes we you know we've just taken out this little high as well so it does look like we're getting a bit of a breakout here so you could treat this as your buying opportunity and i'd run a, a stop just back here near 80 cents Like a podium, so look on the weekly chart, we could see it's been trending, trending well over the past few years. Um, if I just move to the daily chart, we could see that, you know, we've had this consolidation here. Um, basically, you've had some resistance around this level, you know, call it $11. Um, finally broke above that at the end of December. It's come back for a bit of a retest and looks like it's going again. So it looks like yeah, this sort of move has only just started given that we've had a long consolidation period. I think it's still you know, early in the move. So it's still just you know resuming its uptrend now. So I think there's still further upside. Okay, IPD group, which has the code IPG. Um, now if we zoom out, sort of nice Sort of long-term uptrend there nothing wrong with that it's gone nowhere since september of course but when i look at this to me this looks like your classic cup and handle so you've had the the pullback from the high the rally back up and now it's just consolidating under that high so you know just a classic sort of bullish setup there where you know you'd be looking for all the sellers to finally be over with and a break above five dollars would be your next next buy signal and you know often um, in terms of trying to pick a target people look at the depth of of this so if you're talking five dollars down to 360 
So a dollar forty, um, you know, potentially once it breaks five dollars, you might have a dollar forty upside. Um, remains to be seen, but either way, um, looking good overall, and I think a break above five dollars is a buy signal. Okay, well that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through, and I'll try to cover it next week for you.